Sony's next-gen PSVR was reportedly detailed at a developer summit. Further confirmation of the device's improved FOV field of view screens and controllers. Was this uh, was this device a hit or a miss? I I played with it for a little bit and I was like, this is pretty cool. I was in that gangster game or whatever. It was I'm sitting there? I was like a card table or something. Oh really? Yeah, I did. I hey okay. man, I mess around a little bit. And you already got the PlayStation, so you're like, all right, let's check out the PSVR. But I, I, this is completely anecdotal. I just didn't hear a lot of people talking about it in in my life in 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 outside of the internet. Yeah. It seemed that as far as VR was concerned, it was I was hearing a lot more about some of the newer Oculus stuff mm -hmm. as opposed to the PSVR. Yeah, the PSVR never really uh, took off, but it was always there. Oh, so you're But it was always like just, there was never like an iteration for it, you know? Um, no improvements. It was just the same. But uh, but see that kind of happens with peripherals for consoles because they're, it's all about like a standard, have, setting a standard, mm -hmm. and, and whether it's a controller that you plug into the thing or a camera or these accessories have to work backwards sure. with all the versions of that console that were released, or at least they want maximum compatibility. Uh, but at the same time, it's like you're probably not the most extreme type of VR consumer if. You got a four hundred and ninety nine or three hundred and ninety nine dollar box and then a single peripheral uh -huh. compared to some of these wild setups or compared to the easy entry to something like the Oculus Quest Quest, Two. which is how much money? Uh one ninety nine. You see what I'm you see what I'm saying? Now you don't need a headset and a console and everything else. Now it's not gonna be a one to one comparison here, but two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Don't get carried away one ninety nine. You have one heck of a business if you're selling that for one ninety nine. Will <laughs> it's a good deal still. All right, go back to the PSVR thing though. Here, okay, the Here's next some specs. the next gen PSVR connects to PlayStation consoles through a single cable, no pass through box ne necessary. Good mm -hmm. headset features higher resolution OLED displays, two thousand by two forty by twenty forty pixels per eye, so a total four K resolution. That's pretty good. Yeah, and, it is. And an improved 110 degree field of view, which is 10 degrees wider than PSVR. This gives you the greater sense of immersion, obviously, with the wider field of view. Sony reportedly plans to use flexible scaling resolution in conjunction with FOVated. Foviated? Foviated? Field of view? I, I'm guessing the FOV stands <laughs> for field, but what a word. In conjunction with. Yeah. Foveated rendering enabled That's very... by eye tracking to allow the, it's like a, some new age word. I don't know. Sure, Maybe yeah. it's not. I don't know. To allow the device to only render when you're actually looking at it. Ah, save on the resources. Mm -hmm. Better experience. Who cares if you're not looking at it? The overall goal being to being to reduce the strain on the PSVR and PS5 and improve performance. Sony will also reportedly use inside-out tracking for the next-gen PSVR, and the company says the device's controllers will have adaptive triggers, haptic feedback. This is, this is all stuff from the PlayStation 5 controller already. Yeah, this stuff. This stuff here. Which looks really cool. If uh, the goggles or the headset looks like this in the same style, which it probably will, it's, yeah, it's not bad. You're into it. I like it. You're fully on board. Uh-huh. The PSVR headset is the going to be the best... VR headset. Uh, I don't know about that, but... Sony won't actually launch the new PSVR until holiday 2022, mm -hmm. but they could finalize and announce more details later this year. All right, Willie Do still using his Oculus stuff. Yeah. 